Hi, Darren here again. So, uh, I've done the tutorial, uh, as I said before, late for the party, four months too late. Um, so here I am doing my first proper game. Um, I've had a little dabble, but this is the first one I'm kind of throwing myself in for. Um, as you saw by the, the clip, the kind of info in the clip gave it away, it's Bradford. Um, why Bradford? Well, uh, I'm a local guy. I live in Yorkshire, West Yorkshire. So I thought, the first thing I thought I'd do a local team, uh, first one. Secondly, I thought um, I kind of want to go down the leagues, um, Division 2. Um, it's, it's avoiding the temptation of money, really. So I, I don't want to go for Liverpool, Man United, Man City and have 100 million because, um, you know, after a couple of seasons, you you know, you win the Premier League, you win the Champions League. It's like, where do I go? So I think hopefully with Bradford, it's going to be a bit of a long journey taking them up the leagues unless they sack me after uh, by Christmas. But uh, you never know. Um, Again, I mean, maybe, maybe Bradford is not for me. Maybe they don't like me. I don't like them. I, I don't get a feel for them. Whenever I play this game, you know, I want to, sometimes you feel good in the team and you want to stay. You get job offers from two divisions above and you say, no, I'm, I'm loving life. The players seem to like me. The fans like me. Other times, yeah, it's not happening. And uh, maybe on the pitch and otherwise. And then... You, you, you can't wait to jump ship. Uh, so, yeah, so uh, hopefully um, we're going to have some fun with this and uh, hopefully you'll stick with me and uh, uh, hopefully I don't have to suffer too much. So, uh, yeah, let's go and uh, see how, see where this journey takes us. Okie dokie. So, here we go. So, Bradford City have today confirmed the appointment of Mr. Hatt as the club's new manager. <clears throat> Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the inexperienced 50-year-old. Um, yeah, but I've got lots of experience. We know that. Um, how much uh, they're giving me 1.6k per week? Um, yeah, I, I've been to Bradford. I can do all right for 1.6k. Hopefully I've got a few quid saved from my uh, long, uh, you know, international experience as a manager. However, I don't really want to be turning up at the uh, League 2 training ground in my uh, in my Porsche so uh, I've got to be a man of the people now so so sorry Derek Adams I'm replacing you <clears throat> so let's see then so what we got here then we got uh, oh whoa, media prediction seconds so that's not too bad well it's kind of not too bad it's not too good it is that hopefully the, that means the team it's supposed to be good and I don't need to change too much but then also it means that if I don't do so well in the first season then yeah I'm risking losing my job um, <clears throat> fierce rivals Leeds well yeah if you actually ever play them I think Leeds in the Premier League Bradford League 2 maybe it's going to be a little while uh, how we play unless we meet in the middle I suppose uh, so we'll we'll see about that uh, last season Last season we finished fifteenth. So, um, hmm, what does that mean? I don't know if uh, to change the players much. Uh, let's first round FA Cup. We've got twenty five thousand capacity. Do you know? You, you know what? As well, I always think that every club has a level. Um, love them or hate them, like Leeds is a good example. You know, they took a long time out of the Premier League. But love them or hate them, Leeds with the ground, with the fan base, um, they're, a, they're a Premier League club. Um, and I, I absolutely don't think, you know, with a 25,000 capacity, we know where, well, maybe you don't, I don't know how old you all are, but um, back in the day, Bradford were a kind of first tier, well, they got in the first tier, but they were a second tier club. Um, so I think Bradford... Their level should be championship, to be fair. Um, so we've got a transfer, big transfer budget of zero. So looks like I might have to sell somebody to get players in. Wage budget, 62 grand. No idea what how that computes and what that means. And everything's pretty adequate. So, anyhow. So. <coughs> Anything else? So, 
to be honest, sometimes when I, I'm, if if I'm honest, I'm not really familiar with uh, Bradford and the team or League Two for that matter. So sometimes when you look at these lower lower league clubs, you you're seeing these, you know, big players back in the day, you know, thirty three year old dropping down the leagues. Um, yeah, I don't I don't recognise too many to be honest. Um, so we shall see. We've got a few loans here. Okay. Oh, Charlie Wood at the bottom to Osset Town. That's uh, even more local to me. So, okay, okay. So what we got to do for Bradford then? So we got to work within wage budget. Yep. Papa John's Trophy first round, League Two playoffs. Okay, okay, fair enough. FA Cup second round, Carabao Cup competitive. I'm not even sure that's a bit vague, but uh, we'll try. Gay. Oh, and then next season, automatic promote. What? So they want us to... League 2 playoffs, 21. Oh, right, okay, 21 to 22. And then 22 to 23, then get straight uh, to League 1. So hopefully we'll get there this year, but we, we'll see. Um... Yeah, remain in League One if we get there, obviously, and then become established. Um, so yeah, I think it looks like it's all about getting to League One and then you know, they're kind of happy there for a while, which is which is all right. Um, yeah, we're happy with this. Okay then, so uh, I'll have a little look around and see what the team's like, and uh, uh, we'll uh, I'll I'll be back shortly. So yeah, I'm just having a look at the the team and kind of the ability. Um, looking like his best player is this guy, Jamie Walker, um, on loan from Hearts. Okay. Uh, we've got Songo. Do you know what? It's not it's not that much of an old team as well, which is pretty good. A um, couple of what we got a one thirty year old. How many? Yeah. Yeah, I've got Songo. I like it. I like that. The best, the best, well, best player is the creative, but our player is a, a leader, a defensive midfielder, youngest leader defence. Yeah, it's it's not bad. Couple of other lone players. You know what? I'm already getting a nice feel for this. And then also, I think looking at a couple of these young players, these uh Potentially, they're, it's not too bad. Let's have a look at Pordy O'Connor. Um, if I'm saying that right. Let's have a look. Report. Coach report. Yeah, so, you know, he can take his... He can go up to League One leading. Also, when I do this as well, I think... I always like to take a player with me through the divisions. Uh, one or two. Maybe you're the one, Pordy. He's, he's quite young. He can go to League One at least. Oh, by the way, this guy, Jamie Walker. His picture looks a bit like Michael Owen. Um, well, maybe that's just me. Okay. So, yeah, you know, first first impressions, very early first impressions. Um, yeah, I think this looks not too bad. Um, Strikers-wise, we all like a striker. But Andy Cook, I think, yeah, he's been around a few years. Yeah, he's all right. He's got a few goals. Certainly, wow, a few years ago, he's, uh, well, the league below, is uh, he can certainly score him. So, yeah, he might be okay. Um, after him, striker-wise, hmm, yeah, I'm not, not so sure about him. <clears throat> the next guy down, I'm not even sure I will say his first name. I don't want to insult any Irish people. Uh, Mm, Mr. Lavery, I'll call him. Uh, young Lavery, even though he's 28. Yeah, so he's decent League 2, and that's kind of his level. He might be one of the players that I'm thinking of letting go to get just a few quid. I only want a few quid, 35k to 55k. Um, if I've got zero, I, I just want a couple of quid. That's all I want, please. Um... Leanne Gall, 
yeah, I know, I know of him. So yeah, I'm, I'm all right with this. I think I don't have to go too, too crazy at the start. Not that I can, because I'm going to money. So um, yeah, yeah, pretty happy. Ah, <sighs> so that's done. I'd forgotten how hard it is in the lower leagues when you got no money and you spend hours searching for players and then you don't get them. And then when you do want them and they do want to come to you and then you can't afford them or they want too much wages or your board says no. So yeah, so it's now the 7th of August. It's the day of the first game. However, I will say that, yeah, I'm happy with the squad. Now, I'm, I said at the start that um, you kind of got to get, sometimes you want to get a feel for the team. Uh, do you think uh, you want to stay here, etc.? Yeah, I th I'm really happy with this team. I think it's a, a, quite a, a few good young players. So, so let's have a look then, eh? Let's have a look at what, what I've done. Which isn't a lot, to be fair, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. Just one other thing. Please, bosses, can we have a senior affiliate so we can loan players and, and it'll be free because uh, we have no money? Oh, so, uh, I guess you're not keen on uh, senior affiliates then. Bit harsh, but okay. So, here's the, like I say, it's 7th of August. Uh, here's my squad, which, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's, it's kind of a bit big. So, it, it might be that during the season, I'm going to have um, finance problems. And hopefully, if my... If I do well on the pitch, then they're going to be okay with that. Lose a few quid during the season. Um, I only really sold a couple of players. Um, I was like, a, I'm like a, a, a little kid with all the toys around me. I, I kind of don't want to let any go. Um, but I let one or two, I think, I think Liam Rideout, um, got about 40k for him. Um, that, not a lot else. I think I let one or two others go. Um but yeah, I mean, I, the, the transfer thing is hard. Uh, I got, the scouts are continuously telling me, hey, sign this player. Uh, he, he's a super, superb signing. Um, cost around half a million, um, which make, do you not realise we don't have any money? Um, so I tried to sign a few. Um, I I was proud of myself. I... Uh, I, I stopped myself signing players just on their name. Um, I wrote some notes here. There was a, a, a centre-back called Sam Allardyce, a young centre-back. There was um, an old winger called Platini and, uh, and a young midfielder called Keggs. Um, so I was proud of myself. I didn't sign any of those. Um, but who did I sign? Um, and I only got, I wanted a striker, but it, I, I didn't, I couldn't get one or I didn't, I wasn't happy with the options. Um, so I'm going to have to make do with what I've got. But who did I sign? I signed this guy, Conor McLaughlin. As you see there, he's an international, Irish international, which he should fit in well. We seem to have a few Irish players in this team. Um, yeah, look at it, his, his report, his coach report. He's currently a leading Sky 2 player. So he should do well for this team. Um, so he's straight in the team. Um, and I think I got him on a free as well. Um, and then we've got, I signed on loan, this young lad, Tyler Morton from Liverpool, who apparently is worth between... 6.4 million and 11.5 million. No idea how I got him. He's, look at him, he's 18 years old. His report is... Oh, he's currently a Sky uh, Bet League One standard player. Yeah, he's going to be a Premier League player, but yeah, we're not going to see that. He's, he's only playing for us this season. Uh, so I'm really happy with him. 
Um, and to be honest, I'm I'm happy with the whole team. If if you look at the look at the ages. Also, what I tried to do is sign some of these, well, a couple of these young players to longer longer contracts. So I've got Reece Staunton, Staunton to a longer contract. I've got, uh, well, I love his name, Finn Cousin Dawson to uh, a long contract. I've also signed Levi Sutton, who I don't think he's going to be a first team, probably play, but um, he's going to be pretty good. And Pordy O'Connor, Pordy's my boy. So... Uh, when I talked earlier about there's always going to be the odd player that I want to take with me through the leagues, hopefully Pordy might be the one. Um, he's the captain of the team. Um, he's uh, he's a leader and uh, also won the contracts. I got him to a £1 million uh, pound, uh, minimum clause, so hopefully he'll be around for a while. Nobody's going to steal him from us. Um Dynamics of the squad's um, hierarchy. Well, as there we go. Uh, earlier, a, a while ago, I had no team leaders, and there we go. Pardi O'Connor's the team leader. Uh, got a few highly influential. Um, and then if we look at the tactics, we have um, Alex Bass in goal. Um, yeah, he's okay. Um, Defence, I'm really happy with. We've got the young, the new player, McLaughlin. We've got Pardy O'Connor, who's the captain leader at the back. We've got Reese Staunton, who's the young player. Um, can play on the left or centre, so I'm happy with that. Um, we've got Tyler Martin, the young loney. He's keeping Songo out of the team. The couple of midfielders, uh, they're okay. I'm not totally, totally convinced. But we've got a couple of other players who can play there. We've got a big squad. Um, we've got uh, Jamie Walker on the right wing. He's actually a left winger, but he can play on the right. And he's the, well, as far as the reports go, he's the number one guy. He's the best player on the team. Well, I suppose Tyler Morton might be now. but um, And then we've got Pereira on the, on the left now. And Stryker, I, I'm not totally, totally happy, 100%, but... I think he's going to be good enough and we've got a couple of players um, who might have a chance but hopefully he's not going to get injured or I might be screwed. Um, as I mentioned before though, and I talked about um, teams have a level um, and I think that Bradford's level should be the championship. Well, to give you an idea about that, um, our season tickets um, of the amount we've sold, 12,000. 12,700 season tickets for League Two. So that kind of tells you where we're at. So if hopefully if I don't get sacked, then uh, I'm really confident we can get the League One. Uh, and yeah, I think he, we've got a good journey going on there as well. So so yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with all this. Was there anything else uh, I wrote down? No. So, um, so yeah, so as I say, I got, I got offers to buy a few players, but a lot of them had the potential for League 2, and I don't want a League 2 ceiling, because um, hopefully pretty quickly we're going to be in League 1, and, that, and that's, that's the aim um, for me, I think. So yeah, so that's where we're at, really. So, um, it's the 7th of August, we're playing Exeter away. Um, and so this is pretty much where I'm going to end this session and, and the next the next video is going to be our first game of the season so I think I need to lie down now it's been a tough old pre-season trying to and failing mostly to sign players but I got a, two, a couple of good ones and I'm happy with the team anyway so uh, thanks for watching and um, hope you watch the next one and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to a good season Okay, take care. See you later.